now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made my decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. The heck y'all want me to do? Y'all trying to write poems, bitch? I'm trying to play games! Before this video starts, y'all, this video and this game will have some sensitive topics about suicide and a lot of other crazy stuff, self-harm and all the other stuff like that. So, if you guys are going through any depression, get in contact with a professional, school therapist or something. Uh, Cause it's not a joke and it's not a game and if you need help, you need help. That's why there's professionals and people get paid to help you. Don't feel shy or insecure about it. Now, let's continue on with the video. Hope you guys do enjoy and let's get lit. Dick limousine, man, I need a vaccine cause I'm hotter than average. I go like that gadget and Ellie and NASA. I'm out of this planet. Oh, I'm so all of the trash you jamming on radio stations. I'm trash and I'm holding back all of my laughs and I swear. 30% of me trying ain't fair. Fuck with a nigga and see how you fair. Love Dr. Lee has entered the building. Wait, hold up. No, that's wrong. Love Dr. Lee has entered the fight. And today, say that with me, y'all. What we fighting for? We fighting for <laughs> Alright, y'all. Today, I already know what happens in this game, bro. I've watched it like a year or two ago, so my memory is kind of foggy. But I do know this game get crazy. I do know just about every one of these girls just may get clapped depending on how I how I play the game. I know there's a whole bunch of endings and I think I can save someone in this game if I do things right. I don't know, bro. I, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but today, this is what we gonna be playing, bro. Um, first things first, because I know she probably watches. Shout out to my baby. I love you, all right? Every day that happens in this game, I'm doing it in character, bro, for the homies, bro. Love Dr. Lee's doing it. Not, not your boy, okay? So, let me check the settings and then we gonna get into this, bro. I'm freaking scared, bro. They gonna call me Lee, baby! Go, go, go! Oh, shoot. I'm scared, bruh. Hey! I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighborhood, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today? But it still kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. So if he never thought he'd see himself being friends and it just kind of works out, I don't think it's going to be our love interest. But we'll see. We'll see. We used to walk to school together on days like this. But starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently. And I would get tired of waiting up. Kind of know what that is for right now already. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. Actually, we could we could like her, bro. Who knows? Who knows? You know what I'm saying? Sometimes that's how it be. You think you ain't gonna like the girl, and you talk to him, it's like, oh, hold up, man. However, I just sat an idol in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Hey, hey! I hope you slept again. Why'd I call you this time? Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. <laughs> you, say you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Lee. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something, you know? Fine, fine. That was rude, bro, what he just said. <laughs> what I said, I guess. That's how I'll be, bruh. Back off. But you did wait for me, after all. I guess you didn't. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Lee, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? <laughs> they got a gaming club? Cause if not, I ain't joining. I told you already, I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. <laughs> That's not true. You 
you told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm, I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sorry likes to worry a little too much about me. When I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. And that's why I said, is there a game or anime club? And she replied, no. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Shoot, I didn't have no reading skills when I entered college. Shoot, how am I reading this? Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. I'm sorry about dying, right? Because I already know what happened. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little bit? Yeah, I guess I promise you that. Yay! Yatta! <laughs> <laughs> I do I let myself get lectured by uh, such a carefree girl? It's like, she ain't worried about nothing, but is she worried about my future and my success? Worry about yourself! What's happening? More than that, I'm surprised that I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes her, me want to ease her mind a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. School day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. As I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sorry wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori? Sorry must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize I'm the only one left in this classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. <laughs> you don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know, <laughs> I might suggest my club. But who knows? Know what? Well, that <laughs> you'd come to my club. Sayori! Yeah! There is no way I'm going to join your dusty club! Eee, meanie! Unless it's the anime club. Sayori is the vice president of the literature club. Ew. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please! Why do you care so much anyway? I'm literally just gonna be reading books. Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Why did you put me on the spot like that? Don't make promises you can't keep! I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or if she's cunning as to playing all this out. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> Fine, I'll stop for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! Dang, bro, what the heck, dog? I'm trying to join the gaming or anime club. Shoot. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, this ain't the first time I played a Denning Sim, so, you know, if y'all see me, like, maneuver the screen in the hood pretty easily... <laughs> That's why, you know what I'm saying? Hey, bro, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? When I'm single, you know what I'm saying? I had to get some type of love. You know? And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. No music playing? You guys know it's another hint to what's about to go down. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, but being generally used for third year classes and activities, which I don't care to participate in. Sorry, full of energy swings open the classroom door. Also, guys, we have another playthrough where I just read stuff and read all Undertale's out. Undertale playthrough, so I'll try one extra. I had to plug that in real quick, y'all. Don't be mad at me. Everyone, the new member is here! I told you don't call me a new member. 
uh, I glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori, Sayori always says nice things about you. Now, if any of my voices sound relative to another YouTuber, y'all, it's probably because my subconscious mind just immediately said, hey, use that voice, bro. You heard it before? If it fits, do it. So, I'm going to hear no one talking about it in the comments. Oh, he's coming up. Don't do it, bro. Come on now. Sayori always says nice things about you. Apparently, you my boy. What voice should I give this girl? I really can't. I can't decide on one, bro. Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Lee. What a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Did I give her the same voice as the other girl? Whoopsies. I just skipped with that. All this activities, this club, this club, incredibly cute girls. Except that child right there. <laughs> Who is that? What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S uh, sorry. Natsuki. Hmm. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. <laughs> don't try not want to catch a case. She's also the one who made the cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can't just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says, Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back toward the other girls. Come on, no. Anyway, this is Natsuki, full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest girl in the club. Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Is she more of the quiet type, you know what I'm saying? To herself? Let's find out more about that. Ah, uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Lee. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Are we do... <laughs> we do know each other well. We rarely talk, but we're in the same class last year. Monica's probably the most popular girl in the class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, you know what I'm saying? Typical A-ranked girl, female in school. <laughs> what more can I say? Basically, completely out of my league. <laughs> so having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little, you know, good. Yeah, uh, you too, Monica. <laughs> Come sit down, Lee. We made a room for you at the table. So you can sit down to next to me <laughs> or Monica. Which one you want? I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? Hey, okay, tea. I never had tea before. <laughs> sip, sip. What's up with it? Let's see. The girls have formed a few desks around the table. I said that. I brought that totally backwards. As I already mentioned, it's been widened so, so it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Guys, I'm a, I just decided, bro. I'm gonna play this game like I'm actually in it, bro. I'm gonna play like that. I'm not gonna try to save no one or do nothing crazy. I'm gonna play like I'm actually in it. I think that's that's what that's what I'm gonna do, bro. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Oh shoot. Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The wishes are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking Natsuki. Alright, baking, Natsuki. Hey, well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sorry, grabs one first, then Monica, then I follow. It's delicious. Sorry, talks with her mouth full as Panda has already managed to get icing on her face. You are disgusting! One point down! I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Hmm, let me see about this one right here. Natsuki is quiet. The heck you staring at me for, little kid? I'm about to take a bite out of this thing, man. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is 
she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet, full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. Oh my gosh, this is fire! This is really good! Thank you, Natsuki! Dang! Well, why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Like you haven't made them? You just made them and gave them! What do you mean? Of course I'm gonna thank you! Thank you for yourself! What do you mean? I've not heard this somewhere before. Made them for you or anything? I... I, I just... I thought... You technically... I did... I did! That's what, wait, um, what am I saying now, bro? I'm trying to... This is me! Uh, I thought technically you did, so I already just said... Well, maybe! But not for you, you know? Uh, tell me! <laughs> oh, shoot, never thought I'd say that in my life. Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. No, the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the, the teachers give us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess, yeah. I'll say it does. Uh huh, don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, th that's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I mean, that, you know. I believe in you. Why did I say I believe in you? Because I believe this tea will taste delicious, that's why. Don't know why else I would say that. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Um... I was afraid of this question, not gonna hold y'all. Something tells me I, I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. <clears throat> well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so I thought I'd check it out. That's okay, don't be embarrassed. Did I look embarrassed? We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decide to start your own club? You should probably be a board member for any other in any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Uh, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I'd personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. But I'm surprised there aren't more people in this club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. Especially if it's a death You could put it that way. That many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes cool events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow in this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. <laughs> that sounds like a gosh dang Overwatch character when you press A to play them. I'll do my best. You know it! Shoot, gotta get that voice right. Everyone in that fantastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have really worked hard just to find out or just to find these three. Maybe that's why they're all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Even though I'm not going to be as enthusiastic about literature as they are, but you know, I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Lee, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Last book I read was How to Kill a Mockingbird, and I was in high school, so they forced me to read it too. So I, you know, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I don't know where that came from. I muttered quietly to myself in a half-joking manga. 
Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Oh, Natsuki, you mess with the manga? Hold up, no. It looks like she was, uh, wanted to say something, but didn't say it. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, I mean, there's still work. Did that? No? It, it, okay. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her fingers. What you doing with that teacup? Heck. My favorites are usually novels that build up deep and complex fantasy worlds. Oh, that's kind of fire! That's, that's kind of fire! Okay. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes, Yuri goes on to clearly passionate, passion, clearly passionate, clear, about a read. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? <laughs> anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. <laughs> how do you go from fantasy and all this other stuff to just get you straight to horror? Uh, I read a horror book once. Um, kind of freaked me out. I desperately grasped something I can relate to at the minimum level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with the rock. I don't know nothing about these books, bro. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or it takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Why, uh, why's that? Well, I just... Natsu's eyes dart over to me for a split second. What the heck are you looking at me for? I don't read books, that's <laughs> stupid. I should have been in this club. Never mind. Oh, she was probably thinking about manga, huh? That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What, what gives you that idea? Uh, you left a piece of, piece of paper behind the last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... D don't say it out loud! And give that back! F fine, fine. Ha! <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems! Everything you do is just as cute as you are! <laughs> Ugly. Sorry, sidles, 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 but up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Oh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's pretty impressive. Why don't you share them sometimes? Could be cool. N no! Alright then, never mind then, hey. Natsuki averts her eyes. You you wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer, then? I mean, sure. I don't read stuff, so it might be interesting. Uh, I understand how Natsuki feels. Showing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. <laughs> you must be willing to open your eyes to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. She real deep with it, huh? Okay, hold up now. <laughs> A little too much into it, I might have to pull back, hold back. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel more comfortable enough to share hers. Uh, I guess it's the same for you, Yuri. <laughs> Shoot, you ain't no different than her. Chill out. Ah, I I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Huh? I I know that one. Natsuki and Yuri like look quizzically at Monica. Quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. And next time we meet, we'll all share them to, to each other. That way, everyone is even. Um. Um. 
Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new Minute member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Lee? The heck? What, what you asking me for? I didn't even join the club officially yet! <laughs> you just throw me in this thing? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on now, this is the one problem. Uh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made my decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. The heck y'all want me to do? Y'all trying to write poems, bitch! I'm trying to play games! Watch anime! With dejected eyes. But... I I'm sorry, I thought... <laughs> but Lee... Y you all... I'm defenseless against these girls. I'm not even supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this. That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these alright-looking girls. <laughs> right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by bro one, one by one, <laughs> the girls' eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy. Sorry, wraps her arms around me. Get, get off me, bro! Jumping up and down. Hey, hey! You really did scare me for a moment. Oh, shoot my freaking camera. If you just come for the cupcakes, I would be super. And that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Will everyone remember tonight's assignment? Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Michael looks over me at me once more. The heck you looking at me for? Dang! Lee, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. So I'm writing a poem too? Golly, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I cannot really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills. So is he going after Monica this whole time then, or what's happening? I already feel anxiety welling up inside me. Alright, are we going after her? What's happening? Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey Lee, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, so I and I never walked home never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, why not? Let's get it. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course... My well, I'd really be happy spending, spending every day after a school in a literature club. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls? Alright. I just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. <sighs> now how do I do this? Do I pick words I mess with, or do I pick words I think they mess with? I'm gonna pick words I mess with, bruh. Um, I'm gonna let it like match make me, bro. Why not? Uh, beauty, love, poof, inferno, spouse, but I'm not friends, landscape, be special. Come on, I'm between friends and love. I'm gonna say friends, bro. Bed suit. Okay, okay, you know who that is, bro. That's a promise. Clumsy be pretty cute. <laughs> I'm getting sorry for all of these. I'm gonna forgive. I don't really be forgiving people, but I'm gonna forgive. Dazzle. Why not? <laughs> Boop. Why not? <laughs> of course it was her. <laughs> I'm picking some simp type answers right now, y'all. I already know I am, bruh. Y'all just gonna let get to know your boy a little bit more, I guess. Pleasure, desire, desire. Sensation. <laughs> skirt! <laughs> skirt, skirt! I'm with the summer. Mess with that. Peace. 
school. Hope this journey, raindrops, music, and trophy fashion. fashion. Okay, I think so. I already got most of those, bruh. All right, y'all, we gonna end it there, bruh. We just did our first poem, bruh. We wrote that thing out. I hope it looked clean. I hope it looked good. And I guess we'll figure out who we attracted it to. I think we attracted to Sayori the most. I think we have most of hers. But yeah, we'll see the reactions uh, in the next video if you guys want me to continue the series. If you guys want me to continue the series, make sure to hit, let's hit at least 15 to 12 likes, y'all, on this video if y'all want me to continue this series. Uh, if not, this is a good uh, little new type of video for Valentine's Day. And yeah, that's gonna be it for me today, y'all. Y'all know what to do if you want more. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, join the live crew, hit the notification button, join the new games tune when new video drops. I'll be live, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Keep it divine. Love you all, and peace. <sighs>